Hello and good morning. Welcome back to our class. Our topic for today is dividing fractions. Let us consider this word problem. Oliver has one half meter of string. He divided the string into two parts. So what is the length of each string? So first, let's have one hole. Then we divide a hole into halves. And then we divide the half into twos. So the result is one fourth. So we can say that the result is one fourth of the whole. So abstractly, we can say that n is equal to one half divided by two because I'll divide one half by two. So I'll rename two as two over one. Then after that, I'll reciprocate two over one. If I say reciprocate, meaning to say, I'll interchange the numerator and denominator. Say, for instance, if I have 2 over 1, I'll interchange the numerator okay, and denominator. So, 1 will be my numerator and 2 as my denominator. So, therefore, I have here 1 half times 1 half. Then, the division symbol now will become multiplication. Again, so after I reciprocate the denominator, I'll proceed to multiplication of fractions. Meaning the same, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. All over, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So therefore, so we have n is equal to 1 4. So the length of each string is 1 4 meter. To summarize what we have done in dividing fractions, so first, we get the reciprocal of the divisor. Then after that, we multiply as fractions. Let us consider the following example. So n is equal to 3 fourths divided by 1 half. First, I'll interchange okay, the numerator and denominator of 1 half. Then after that, I'll proceed to multiplication of fractions. So that is why I have 3 fourths times 2 over 1. Then, I'll factor out 2 and 4. So take note that 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So I have now here n is equal to 3 times 1 all over 2 times 1. But take note that 3 times 1 is equal to 3 and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So I have 3 over 2. Then I'll make 3 over 2 as big number. So meaning say I'll divide 3 by 2. So, how many 2's can we get in 3? There's only 1. Okay, so 1 times 2 will give us 2. Then subtract. So, here, the difference is our numerator and denominator is our divisor. So, 3 over 2 is the same as 1 and 1 half. Okay, so let's have another example. So, say for instance, n is equal to 5 over 6 divided by 1 over 6. Again, I'll change or I'll get the reciprocal of 1 over 6, which is equal to 6 over 1. Okay, so this is 6 over 1. The division symbol will become multiplication. So, I have now here 5 over 6 times 6 over 1. Then, I'll factor out 6 and 6 because... Okay, 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. So I have now, n is equal to 5 times 1 all over 1 times 1, or we have 5 over 1, or n is equal to 5. To summarize, the steps in dividing fraction by another fraction, we have number 1. Get the reciprocal of the divisor, then proceed to multiplication of fractions, then simplify. Let's have another example. Say for instance, I have 1 and 1 half divided by 3 fourths. So take note that I have here mixed number. So what I'm going to do is convert all mixed number or mixed number into improper fractions. So let's recall, if I have 1 and 1 half, so to convert this into improper fraction, I'll have here 2 times 1 plus 1. So it will give me 3 all over 2. So this is the equivalent okay, of 1 and 1 half. 
So I have here now 3 over 2 divided by 3 fourths. Then after that, I'll get the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is equal to 4 over 3, then proceed to multiplication. So therefore, n is equal to 3 over 2 times 4 over 3. Take note that I can cancel out 3 and 3. So this will give us 1. Okay? And 2 and 4 is divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So I have 1 times 2 all over 1 times 1. Or n is equal to 2 over 1 or n is equal to 2. Next, let's have another example. So this time, we have mixed number divided by another mixed number. Again, I'll convert all mixed numbers into improper fractions. So such that, okay, I have here 3 over 2 divided by 6 over 5. Why? Because if you will recall, okay, 2 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Also, 1 times 5 will give us 5 plus 1 will give us 6. So then, I'll get the reciprocal of 6 over 5 and proceed to multiplication. So I have 3 over 2 times 5 over 6. But take note, I can, okay, factored out 3 and 6. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. All over 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then I have 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. But take note that I can rename 5 over 4 as mixed number, which is equal to 1 and 1 4. Again, to summarize our discussion in dividing fraction by another fraction, so first, so change all mixed numbers to improper fractions, then get the reciprocal of the divisor, and finally, multiply as fraction. Okay, reduce if possible.